What is up guys, Dr. Jay Feldman here, and today I wanna to talk to you about male birth control. This came across my table a few months ago. I had no idea that this existed, that it was in testing, but apparently it is, apparently it's a thing. They've been working on this for a long time. Obviously, female birth control has been around for about six decades and super mainstream. I would say most of the girls that I talk to now are on some form of contraception, most of it being the pill, but they also have injections, they have IUDs, they have implants. I actually got certified in Nexplanon, which is a little implant that goes under the arm sits superficially around the tricep area and releases hormones for up to three years. Now the reason this has not been mainstream in men is we kind of have put all of that responsibility onto women to be on birth control since obviously they're the ones who get pregnant. In a man's world, it's been a diffusion of responsibility, but no more. We are now working on male birth control. I have some bad news. It's got a little bit, a little bit embarrassing for us men, ladies. You can laugh at us if you want. But the first trial on male birth control was started in 2008, quite a bit ago. And the drug that they were testing to control our fertility was a combination injection of a synthetic testosterone and a synthetic progesterone. Once you administer exogenous testosterone, just like people on steroids, your body sees it coming in and says, okay, now I don't need to produce it anymore. We're getting it somewhere else. So then your body stops producing testosterone, which is produced obviously alongside and in the same places your sperms are produced. So by administering exogenous outside testosterone, your body stops producing sperm in a significant enough load to produce pregnancy. So that was the idea and it worked in 96% of men. It was totally effective. There were a couple of pregnancies here and there, but birth control is not 100% effective either. The reason that this trial ended so abruptly in 2012 was too many participants dropped out and the doctors deemed that too many side effects were being noted. The main ones was one case of depression and one case of tachyarrhythmias in men when the heart beats too fast and out of rhythm. So there was also some minor side effects noted, as you can imagine, some erectile dysfunction, some decreased libido, some minor cases of depression and whatnot. But these are all things that females have been dealing with for a long, long time, other than the erectile dysfunction, of course. I mean, we've been sweeping the females' complaints about birth control under the rug because we think that the benefit outweighs the risk of these side effects. And men are just not man enough to bear the same risks and the same weight of the side effects as the women. So the trial was ended in 2012, tabled for a while, but good news, as of March 2019, a new trial was approved, passed the safety inspection for humans, not one of the participants dropped out from side effects, which is awesome news. So this new drug currently is a pill, and it's made from a hybrid of testosterone, synthetic testosterone, and synthetic progestin. In a certain quantity, in a certain hybrid formula that is supposed to be processed by your body and brain better so that these major side effects are not incurred. But obviously, I guess we're gonna see when the real clinical trial happens with a bigger test sample and see what happens with them. Obviously, the pill's not super sustainable in men. They wanna turn these pills into an injection, but super promising uh, results for the future. Obviously, they've had some reports of the same minor side effects that you'd see in the, the first trial, decreased sexual function, libido, erectile dysfunction, acne, the things that you would expect when you're administering hormones. The problem is with this, and same thing in the last trial, and I expect that it's gonna be a similar result in this trial, is unlike females who, when they come off of their birth control contraceptive methods, whether it be the pill or injections, almost all of them are able to regain fertility. In men, they had eight out of 100 men that did not regain fertility, and I believe it was like a three-year span, and some of them, after being followed for even more years, still have not gained, regained fertility, still have not regained their sperm count. And I think that's because when you're administering exogenous testosterone for too long, and this is like people on steroids, your body stops producing it on its own. And that can be a very you know bad thing long-term. I'm not sure that I would assume that risk. And I think that's gonna be the big barrier to male birth control. As for the minor side effects, I don't like those either, but I also don't think it's fair that females should have to deal with all of the side effects on their own, and they should be the ones responsible for taking birth control while we don't have anything to do. I would like to hear from you guys, my male subscribers and viewers out there. Would you take a male birth control if it possibly came with some of these side effects and the risk, and one in a hundred risk of infertility long-term coming off of this stuff? Females, do you guys think men should have to assume some responsibility and take this birth control as well? Well, drop a comment below and if you liked what you saw here, please subscribe. It was great talking to you and until the next time, goodbye.